Meantime, the U.S. is responding after 11 ships from Russia and China are reportedly conducting a joint naval drill not far from Alaska's Aleutian Islands. Now, the ships did not cross into U.S. territory, but experts are calling this the largest fleet of Chinese and Russian ships to approach America. In response, the U.S. is dispatching four warships to the region. A lot to discuss this morning. Joining me now is retired Army Ge Major General William Einert. Thank you so much, sir, for being here this morning. How are you? Great. Thanks, Nick. It's uh, great to be with you this morning. I may have to leave early to go buy a lotto ticket, uh, according to your last story, but uh, uh, I'll hang with you a bit. I tell you what, if you win, I will be hunting you down. You don't need to worry about that. I do want to ask you, though, about this situation in Alaska. Anytime we have uh, Senator Sullivan and Murkowski issuing a joint statement saying that they've been briefed and are aware, and 11 of their ships are moving near Alaska, and we respond with four of our destroyers, Things seem to be escalating. Those Russian and Chinese ships never entered U.S. water, but what do you make of this joint drill, and are Russia and China trying to get a response out of the U.S.? Well, Nick, I think uh, these maneuvers uh, show how far the Chinese have come in expanding their cap naval capability, and it also shows that Russia is attempting a naval comeback. Uh, you know, Russia really hasn't had much of a blue-water Navy uh, presence since the collapse of the Soviet Union back in the 1990s. Uh, and China, until fairly recently, uh, really wasn't considered much of a naval power, even though it had a very significant uh, army and, and missile force. Uh, we need to know, too, that this drill actually began back in the Sea of Japan, uh, which uh, borders uh, Jap our two allies, Japan and South Korea. So uh, clearly they were attempting to intimidate or make a show of force uh, between those two uh, great allies of ours. Then they steamed uh, 2,500 miles from the Sea of Japan to uh, the coast of Alaska. Uh, and uh, during the course of this uh, exercise, they were performing uh, uh, live fire exercises, uh, which means they were shooting real ammunition at real targets. Uh, so uh, even though they never entered uh, U.S. territorial waters, I think they were clearly uh, trying to send a message to the U.S. and its allies. And so it's clear to you, General Enyard, this was not by chance. This was purposeful. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and as you pointed out, Nick, uh, it's a good thing uh, that our response this time was uh, quite a bit more robust than it was uh, when a similar maneuver took place last September, when there were uh, seven Chinese ships, no Russians, but seven Chinese. Uh, and our, our response at that time was a single, U <clears throat> excuse me, a single Coast Guard cutter. Uh, today, as you pointed out, we sent, uh, we sent out uh, four Navy destroyers as well as uh, P-8, uh, U.S. Navy P-8 uh, surveillance aircraft. Now, how big of a threat is this? Just because they're uh, doing these exercises, I, is it, um, I don't want to fall into some type of nationalism where I sit here and I say, oh, we're not worried about it at all. Uh, but is there a threat or is there a reason for us to be concerned? Well, I think it's messaging more than a, than a hard threat. Uh, you know, I think the Russians are likely doing this to draw our attention away from uh, Ukraine, uh, force us to commit more forces to the Pacific uh, by showing their close alliance with the Chinese. Uh, while the Chinese uh, are doing it to show their displeasure at our freedom of navigation exercises mm -hmm. through uh, the Taiwan Straits and our other support of Taiwan, uh, as well as attempt to uh, intimidate our allies. Now, General Enyar, all of this is happening after incidents involving U.S. planes in Syria, including Russian warplanes firing flares at U.S. drones. What's your response to all of that action that's also happening at the same time? Well, clearly, we have a very uh, dangerous world that we live in. Uh, you know, the, the Russians, which uh, happens to be the largest nuclear power in the world with over 6,000 nuclear weapons, uh, we're second with about 5,000. The Chinese are way behind with about 350. Uh, and China, uh, Russia is engaged in, in the largest European war since World War II, um, as well as these uh, adventures that they're taking part in in Syria and, and now naval uh, maneuvers with, uh, with uh, uh, China. Uh, clearly, uh, it's a dangerous world, uh, which really means that we uh, we need to get uh, Senator Tuberville, the Republican senator from Alabama, to release his hold on uh, the promotions of our, two of our uh, members, the Joint Chiefs of Staff, as well as over 300 generals and admirals, to, to hold up these senior promotions uh, at a time like this. He's been holding them up for over eight months. Uh, that's uh, absolutely unacceptable. And you Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.